Hello and welcome to my fourth and final reading vlog for August. So thank you for watching the previous three. If you have done, if you're just jumping in now, there's no need to watch the previous three. I'm just announcing it like it's a series. So it is actually nearly six o'clock now on Monday the 24th and I've had a very busy day mainly because I got offered a new job. So I got offered a new job um, and obviously like I'm still working, I had to let my current job know um, and resign and stuff and fill in loads of forms for the new job. So I actually haven't had any time to pick up my phone or my camera really. Um, well, my phone is my camera. I meant my phone or my book. Um, so yeah, it's just been a pretty busy day, but now I'm quite chilled out and I'm reading Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. So ideally I just need to get one post-it note in so that's like 110 pages I'd love to just keep reading and read a couple hundred pages of this tonight and I feel like I could do that because I read five chapters last night without much force um so yeah that is my plan as I said pretty chilled got the new job offer resigned from my job they weren't the nicest about it so I'm in a good mood um yeah and I have nothing more to say so catch you guys when I have a reading update. Hello, so it's nearly one o'clock, so I'm counting that as my lunch break. It is Tuesday, I should probably start with that. Um, missing Cole a little bit today, so I'm cuddled up in his hoodie, um, as if I don't miss him every day, like, what am I on about? Um, yeah, just made like my 10th cup of tea for the day, I swear. Um, gonna pick up Clockwork Princess, so I did read a little bit more last night, I'm not sure what I updated you on, but I got up to page 286 in the end, so exactly halfway through the book, um, which isn't as much as I needed to read. So I have split it down again as if it's going to take me three more days to read this, just to map out like the minimum I need to read every day. Um, but I have a feeling I'm going to try and get about 75% of the way through this tonight, rather than just that section. Um, so yeah, read a bit now on my lunch break. I've got a packet of Nutter Butters. If you haven't seen my latest American Sweets unboxing, please check it out. Um, I'll link it somewhere. Um, and Sydney said she wants me, she wants to send me another box of stuff. So really excited about that if she chooses to do that. Um, works really weird when they know you're leaving. Uh, it, it's just strange. So there's nothing, nothing's wrong. It's just like, you know, quite know how to interact with people. And I have a call with everyone at my level at four where I have to tell them I'm leaving. So that should be interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm going to chill on my lunch now and read Clockwork Princess. Hello, just a little thing to talk about. I'm going to do my reading update at lunchtime. But I just had something really that I was really excited for arrive. And it was a stamp by me book stamp um, made in Spain, which is pretty cool. So I will put a photo up of the designs and I ordered design number two to say my name. This probably, oh, actually that has picked up on camera pretty well. So I got design number one, which I didn't want, it's boring, um, but it has my name on it. So I've sent them an email and said, you got it wrong, um, cause it wasn't cheap. It's not cheap to get a stamp personalized. Um, so I'm wondering whether they're gonna let me have this one for free or send another one because this one's boring. I don't want this one. Um, yeah, that's everything I have to say. But it's on Etsy. I've sent them a message and hopefully I have an update on that in this vlog. Um, because I would like to recommend an Etsy seller, like I like using Etsy, but um just disappointed, really. Hello, so lunchtime, I'm in my pajamas, no shame. Um, and I'm gonna sit and finish off this is really bad lighting. I'm gonna sit and finish off Clockwork Princess. So um, I've sat down on the sofa so that I'm just away from like all work. Um, I got to page 491 last night, so just a teeny bit to go and I'd love to finish it on my lunch break. So that is what I'm gonna try and do. Okay, so I just finished it. Um, it's like quarter to two, so I really need to go back upstairs now, make another cup of tea and get working. Um, I think I'm gonna give this four and a half stars. Like it was really good, but there's just some emotion missing for me and I don't know how. Um, I maybe think this could have been two books. Um, I mean, it's all of these books are long, but this seemed to do like two different things. And at the end, that would have been nice as its own, even like a novella, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that is my Cassandra Clare book done for the month. Um, and that is the top of the pops challenge. I get 75 points for this. So I need to log that. Um, 
next month, September, I haven't actually put a Cassandra Clare book on my TBR, but if I'm going in publication order, like we, me and Brittany have been doing so, that would be The Bane Chronicles, and I cannot wait to read that. So it's on my tentative September TBR. If not, it'll be October. Um, so yeah, that's that done. Um, I need more food. Okay, so it's been like five minutes. Um, I've had an ice lolly and my mouth is so cold, I can't speak. But I just found out my last day at my current job is going to be Friday the 11th of September. And I'm not going to start my new job till Monday the 5th of October. So if the US border could open for tourists, that would be absolutely fabulous. And I can just pop on over and see Cole. I know that's not going to happen. And it wouldn't work with quarantine after. Oh my God, my voice. Um, but that would be nice. Even if I could just go for a week, please, world. Thank you. Um, yeah, and either way, I've got like a three week gap between working and not working. So kind of excited. Um, should probably do the work now though that I'm meant to be doing. Hello, so it is 8.30 on Friday morning. I've got a second before I need to gather myself and get ready for work. Um, but I've been really slacking on the vlog, so I thought I'd quickly update you. Um, I can say that work, when you know you're leaving, is so demotivating. Like, because <laughs> you sit and you're trying to do a good job, but at the same time you're like, I don't need to. So it is definitely demotivating and you end up getting some of the jobs that no one else wants to do. But what could I expect? But you, you, you just hope that it's gonna be like as good as it can be. Um, reading update, I started reading, I can't even grab it from this angle. <laughs> I started reading Eve of Man. Um, I only got to page 45 and I'm not a fan so far. I don't like how it's written, but I feel like I'm unnecessarily like judging this book just because of like memories I have with me obtaining this book. I don't even know how to talk about it. It was just used as a manipulation thing um, with my ex-boyfriend, so I sort of just wanna get rid of it, but I wanna give it a shot and I wanna finish it for the Top of the Pops challenge that I'm taking part in. So I wanna read it, I'm just not feeling great about it. Um, I'm now falling behind on schedule because I didn't wanna read it last night. She was in a real rut last night. I didn't even do my couch to 5K, which I do religiously Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. I didn't do it. So I guess I'm gonna do it today after work, but I don't really want to. So I don't I don't know. Um just like a really ugh week. So I'm kind of glad I'm forcing myself to vlog a little bit just to give myself some sort of accountability to present myself as a normal human. Um I'm gonna get dressed and get ready to work. Hello, it is now six o'clock on Friday and I've got to page 165 of Eve of Man. So I'm a little ways in now and I'm still, I don't love it. Um, I really don't know whether that's me going in with my preconceptions about it, but I'm not, not loving it. Um, it's an okay read, like an easy read to read quite a big chunk. Um, I have been doing reading sprints with Connor over at Connor's Library Corner which is helping me get through this a little bit faster. Um, so we're gonna do another one of those in a minute. I just need to drop him a message. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not loving it, but at the same time, I'm glad I'm reading it and finally getting to it. So yeah, that's, that's all I'm doing. Um, I've uploaded two videos. I was having a major drama with iCloud and not having an Apple laptop um but i think <laughs> we've now got two videos up that are the right edited versions i think i'm definitely going to stick to editing on my laptop not my phone um because it's caused me more issues than it's worth uh yeah but on that note i'm gonna keep reading okay so i wanted to show you my book stamp really quickly like in action um here's my stamp my ink that doesn't seal so i've done it with <laughs> a hair bubble so what I'm doing is I'm only stamping books that I think I'm gonna keep forever. Um, so if you haven't seen it in this vlog, I'm sure you have. It just says, from the library of Chloe Matthews. And basically I'm just gonna find a sort of reasonable place. So that would probably be here on a normal book. Um, but this is like slippy paper and this is normal paper. So we're gonna go for this page. And I think I've just got really bad quality ink, but we will see. Can, yeah, you can see this. Oh, please do it straight. <laughs> uh, 
and there we go from the library of chloe matthews how cute hello so it is gone like half 11 now um within the last half hour i don't know exactly when i did it i finished eve of man and i'm gonna give it three stars like i appreciate what it was trying to do and i can see like the premise was good some of the explanations were good but i feel like the book took on too much in one book like too many plot twists that then weren't quite worked out i don't know exactly what i mean but i feel like it took on a bit too much and that um detracted from how much i enjoyed it so three stars it was fine and it just didn't do anything for me so i'm gonna go to bed and then the only book i need to read in the next three days is ps i like you by casey west that is the last one on my tbr so hopefully I at least get that done hello it is 9 a.m on saturday and i feel like it's one of those days where i've just got so much time to do everything but i have nothing to do so I filmed any videos I wanted to film yesterday, so I don't need to film anything. Um, I have one book left to read over the next three days, which is PSO Like You by Casey West. Um, so I'm going to start that at some point. But apart from that, I genuinely have nothing to do. I think I'm going to head into town and do a bit of shopping. Um, maybe like go in the charity shops and look for books. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I genuinely have nothing to do. So... What do I do with myself? <laughs> and it's a three day weekend and I have no plans at all. So do I do a 24 hour readathon tomorrow? I could do, I have time. Um, it is the Sisters Approximately live show on Monday. Um, and I'm not prepared for that. So I guess I need to get prepared for that. But apart from that, I have nothing. Um, genuinely nothing and Cole will be up in like an hour I need to wake him up because he's doing a like 10 hour drive to Tennessee um so I guess I've got to keep him company <laughs> and like be available on the phone but that doesn't stop me doing anything yeah it's it's a weird one I don't know what to do with myself I guess I could just read but I'm not really in the mood to pick up the book yet so I guess just get dressed is probably the first plan for the day also, I filmed my 500 subscriber Q&A announcement yesterday, so that will go up before this vlog does. But since doing that, I've hit like 570 subscribers and my September TBR has over a thousand views. What is going on? I know that Becca watched it and the Bookopoly Twitter retweeted it because I'm doing the Bookopathon. But apart from like a thousand, that's still intense. Why would that many people watch it? Like, I'm a little bit shocked. Um, but, yeah, so I've got a weird new subscriber base now. So, hi, anyone new. I mean, I don't think new subscribers would be this deep into a weekly reading vlog. But if you are, welcome. Thanks for joining. Um, yeah, I've gone weird. I need to get dressed. So, I've come out of the house. I've got my Kindle. Sat on a lovely bench. Having a meal deal. Loving life. Thought I'd sit by the river. But the river looks like genuine mud today. Like that's, that's just not nice to look at. <laughs> I also bought, and you guys are not gonna care, but I got an A&W root beer, and this is the stuff that I, I have literally begged Cole to turn up to the airport to give me. I absolutely love it. Um, it was £1.69 for a normal size can, which I'm not loving, but I'm sort of desperate for it, so I bought it. <laughs> hear me i'm just gonna head into the library so this is my library it's pretty cool um because i think we're allowed 20 minutes browsing so exciting okay so you probably won't be able to hear me over the traffic but i need to have a really really quick whinge so i went into the library um it was all fine it was walk on one side wear a mask hand sanitize all the good stuff um but then i went to walk to the ya section which is downstairs and the lady was like sorry where are you going so i said to the ya and she said where so i said to the teen section and she said oh sorry it's closed did you want to look at teen books yes yes i did um so i went to adult and got like six books anyway that i'm going to show you when i get home um which my dad is coming to get me because my feet hurt i don't want to walk but yeah i was just like <laughs> yes i wanted to look at teen surely when the library says open it is open so the the adult is open the university stuff is open but the teen and the children's aren't. Like, okay. 
I don't know, I was really bothered by it and I feel like they should put that on their website if they're not opening those sections. Hello, right, so library books. Um, but before I get onto that, can I just say if any of my viewers are like, so I'm 22, if you're like 20 to 25 and living with your parents, can you drop me a comment so I can talk to you? Because I have like questions <laughs> because I am like at breaking point. Um, so yeah, I, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I did move out for like four years and I'm back and I could just do with a chat to someone generally. Okay. Right. So library books. Um, I got six, which I definitely, definitely did not need. Um, and only four of actually i don't know what i've even got anymore let's just empty the bag so the weird one i got is don't read this book so i just saw it on the shelves like don't read this book or whichever way that's gonna come out um so this is edited by chuck chuck wendig um and the little sticker said occult and all i saw was don't read this book because they were doing a if you pick up the book you then put it and you don't want it you put it in like a little basket um so i was really trying not to pick books up unless i was interested so this says down a lonely alleyway under a starless sky lies a city that never was yet is the mad city where nightmares walk the streets and a good night's sleep can get you killed here then is a book from that place within the, these recovered pages are the tales of the awake insomniacs who walked those perilous streets bringing a bit of power of dream with bringing a bit of power of dream with them to fight back the night, always at a terrible cost. For many, it will not end well. For a few, they might just become heroes or at least find their way back home. For you, a choice. Turn away. Don't read this book. And maybe you'll continue to rest easy or open the cover and enter a world unlike you've ever dared to imagine. So for some reason, if I ever, if a book title is ever telling me not to read it, I'm going to grab it, even though I don't even read horror I think I'm going to treat September like pre-October. So one of my favourite podcasts uh, is Morbid um, and they call September pre-October. So I'm going to get into the spooky mood. And actually all of my books are horror, thriller, spooky. So I've accidentally gone with a theme. Um, I've also got Sweet Pea by CJ Skews, Skews, um, which I actually know nothing about apart from Victoria from what Victoria read. Absolutely loves this book. Um, so I'm just going to read a little bit from the back, but I do like going into thrillers blind. Uh, Rhiannon and Lewis might seem like the average girl next door, but she's got a killer secret. Although her childhood was haunted by a famous crime, Rhiannon's celebrity has dwindled. But day by day, her job at a newspaper is demeaning and unsatisfying. By evening, she dutifully listens to her friend's wedding plans while secretly making a list, a kill list. So I'm getting vibes of like the girl in 6E from this. Um, I really want to read it. They also had In Bloom, which I think is the sequel. I didn't want to put too much pressure on myself to read these. Um, then speaking of Victoria, I have The Rapture by Claire McGlasson, which is a book that I bought Victoria for her birthday. So I saw it and thought, damn, I'm going to pick it up for myself. Um, so this is about Dillis, who is a devoted member of a terribly English cult, the Pan... Pan panacea society populated almost entirely by virtuous single ladies um well she's when she strikes up a friendship with grace a new recruit god finally seems to be smiling upon her the friends become closer as they wait for the lord to return to their very own garden of eden but dillis is wary of their leaders zealotry and sus leaders zealotry and suspicious of those who would seem to influence her for their own ends um, and then i'm gonna not carry on with that but it's not too big and seems really, really spooky. And I'm into like cult stuff right now. So uh, then I got two Riley Sagers. I got um, Final Girls and The Last Time I Lied. So I'm really intrigued by both of these. This one has black spread edges, which is pretty cool. And this one, the cover's gone a bit funny. I will just blame whoever had this first. Either way, library books, not too bothered. Um, I know nothing about either of these, apart from Riley Sager is getting a lot of publicity. Um, Apparently these books kind of creepy. I've just looked. This book is actually gross. There's like stuff on it and I'm not going to inquire to the stuff. So these two I'm not going to look into. I'm going to go in completely blind. And then I found The Whisper Man by Alex North. So I didn't recognise what this was straight away because the English covers are very different. Um, but apparently this is horrifying, like really scary. It says adventure on the spine, but that's not what I've heard. So still devastated after the loss of his wife, Tom Kennedy and his young son, Jake, move 
to the sleepy village of Featherbank looking for a fresh start. But Featherbank has a dark past. 15 years ago, a twisted serial killer abducted and murdered five boys. Until he was finally caught, the killer was known as the Whisper Man. Of course, an old crime need not trouble Tom and Jake as they try to settle into their new home. Except that now another boy has gone missing and then Jake begins acting strangely. He says he hears a whispering at his window. I am very excited by this. The English covers are horrible compared to the American ones, but it's fine. Um, so yeah, those are the six books I got. I did manage to read a little bit of P.S. I Like You while I was sat by the river. I'm gonna try and read a bit more now. Um, I don't even know what time it is, but I'm gonna try and get like halfway through that at least today. Um, and then yeah, maybe I'll start on one of these books. Hello, so it is four o'clock. Um, I'm sat reading P.S. I Like You. I've got a mocha iced coffee on the go. Um, I think I'm I'm on 40% now. It's cute. I definitely like it. But it seems to be taking its time. I don't know whether it's just a longer book. But I'm sure Goodreads said like 340 pages. I'm not definitely sure because it's on my Kindle. Um, but yeah, it just seems to be taking me a good amount of time to get through. But I cut it up on the sofa in my burrito blanket. I'm gonna get to 50% and then I'm gonna make myself some dinner. Um, whatever time that is, I don't care, I'm hungry. So yeah, gonna get to 50%, make dinner and then carry on. But I would really like to get this finished today. Hello, it is quarter past six. <laughs> I am properly low in bed. Um, I just finished PS I Like You and it was actually really, really cute. And I think the ending was absolutely perfect because I feel like sometimes in contemporaries they overdo the ending where it'll be like so-and-so falls for so-and-so and then five years later let's look at them at college or married and happy like there was none of that it was just I didn't even realize I was on the last chapter tap for the next page and it was on the acknowledgements so I think that was a perfect way to end it um I think I'm gonna give it four stars like I did really enjoy it but it was really predictable at the same time but I really enjoyed it um so those are all my books for the top of the pops challenge done I think I've got like plenty of hours at home by myself now. I think I'm going to do a try a chapter video for all of the um, thrillers I got from the library today. Like I won't do the short story collection, but I'll do all of the thrillers and just read a chapter. That might be a cool idea for a video. Don't know. Shall I? Yeah, let's do it. Not like you can answer me. Um, so I'm going to properly get dressed and do that rather than lying about in bed at six o'clock. I'm also still really hungry, even though I made dinner. So I might have some crisps. Apart from that, I'm really not doing anything. Cole is still on his way to Tennessee. Um, they've been driving all day. So he's no fun <laughs> right now. Uh, yeah, I think he's fallen back asleep, actually. But I don't know. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm feeling kind of free today. <laughs> okay, I'm actually doing something completely different where it's obviously a bank holiday weekend. I said I wasn't doing anything, so I'm gonna do a 48 hour readathon. I am not gonna stay awake at any point. Maybe I'll just have like a late night, but I'm not pushing myself on sleep. I'm just gonna try and read as much as I can in the day. So to prepare, I'm making sure that my TBR tortoise is perfect because I'm only gonna pick my books using the tortoise. What could go wrong? I could get the books I don't want to read from my shelves. That also means I'm being kind of brutal with unhauling. So I'm getting rid of the entire Ugly series by Scott Westerfeld because I've picked that out of my tortoise several times and said, I don't want to read it. So it's going to go because I don't need it. And um, yeah, so what I'm doing now is going through all of my physical books, making sure they're on Goodreads and making sure if they should be that they're in my TBR tortoise. So this is intense. <laughs> Hello, so it is actually Tuesday the 1st right now and obviously there has been a bit of a gap in this vlog but I went on and did a spontaneous mini readathon so the vlog for that will be coming to you later in the week potentially at the start of next week I don't know when this is going up itself yet um, but not to spoil that vlog but I will just show you the three books I read which I read all in pretty much 48 hours but you know I'm stretching that a little bit um, yeah, so I had a really, really good weekend and I can't wait for you to see that vlog. There's not much in it, but I do some reading, so that's that. And yeah, I'm in my final nine days of my job now, so I'm going to crack on with that. I'm not vlogging September, as far as I'm aware. It's kind of stressful actually continuously vlogging for a month, so you won't see anything, but I need to now get back to work. Um, but I just want to wrap up this vlog, say thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.